What's up, everybody's into the E to the O. You already know. Neil from the Bible Talk Podcast coming to you once again for another epic episode on the podcast with the Otaku crew. Again, we got Lay Fun. I mean, we got Lee here today. Um, yeah. we're gonna talk about Blue Lock, the anime that came out this year, and about the anime, about the characters, about everything about the whole system and everything. If you've seen the anime, you like it, comment down below or what's anime are similar to it to let us know we'll review it. All right. So Lee, what did you yes, think sir. of the show so far? Did you finish it? Are you almost done with it? Did you read it? What what you like about it? Let me know. Cool. Let the okay, people cool. Know. Thanks. Thanks for having me on again. Appreciate it. So yeah, Blue Lock, um, it was, uh, it, the sh that anime show was under my radar. I just never got around to watching it until sometime like last month i just started as a whim because i'm like oh at one point i want to watch it so i started watching it because i'm also a fan of uh, soccer or as they say football yeah i play i played football too mm -hmm. and uh i started watching it and uh it's very good i'm pretty much caught up except for the recent episode that did drop this weekend mm -hmm. uh i am pretty much caught up to most of it and i am enjoying the series so far Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. I did the same thing, it's been on my radar, but I haven't watched it, and I just like, you know what, let me let me watch it, just to see if I like the first episode, and I fell in love with it right away. I'm almost done with it, I think I'm a couple of episodes behind um, from finishing it, but overall, I love it. The whole, the main character, the whole, the whole anime itself, the art style, the way each character have their time to shine and you learn a little bit about each character and learn about the the way they want to play soccer which is so cool so i like how I, I, I do appreciate the animation it's pretty like crisp like yeah like i i, lo I love the designs too because you notice how yeah. their eyes are like not the jack uh, typical anime eyes they're like yeah. more like big eyes and colors like yeah. it's crazy but yeah yeah so in in the show right we watch the main character so if for people if you have seen it you know i'll tell you. you have not seen it go watch it and come back to understand what i'm talking about so in the anime right we see that um ego one of the guys that's orchestrating all of this for blue lock is trying yeah, to make the best the striker, the program mm -hmm. make the best striker right and mm -hmm. He let everybody know, like, look, if you want to be the best striker, you want to be, you have to have the biggest ego. You got to be self-centered. You got to do all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And if you can't do that, then you have no right to play soccer. So some people was like, man, that's crazy, man. I ain't doing that. And it took one person to be like, no, I'm going to be the best striker and start running for it, right? Now, do, do you feel that is similar to how it was when it came down to Comparing an anime to comparing an anime. It's a lot of comparisons when I talk about anime people. Is it do you feel like it's similar to Sword Art Online when they first got into the game? You, are that, you asking if it's similar to Sword Art Online? When they come when they when they finally when they get like shut out out of the real world, right? Yeah. And the only way you can clear the game is to leave if you win, basically. You know? I don't think it is the same comparison because in the Sword Art situation you were locked into the game either by beating it or if you die in real life too, of course. Like but if you die in the game, you die in real life. But, but even though, if you lose in Blue Lock, you can never play soccer again. Yeah. So ain't that the at same least, as dying in the, in the sense of breaking your spirit? Um, yeah, no, that's it. But at least you don't lose your life by not completing your blue the Blue Lock program. So that's that's different. That's them, a difference. It's nah. like a, a, a game of like life and like, like your life is at the stake. With Sword Online, like, like, yeah, you have to either clear the game or you're gonna die for real. Whereas Blue yeah. Lock is like, you might not clear the Blue Lock program, but at least you won't die. But then again, you'll never play soccer again. So it's saying. a bit of harsh. You lose, reality. you it, you lose a part of you, which is, uh, which is your life. If your life, yeah. Robin Brown, um, your life is all about soccer, and to be like, so you telling me if I lose at any one of these, um, yeah. training things, I can never play soccer ever again in my life. Well, right. I mean, that, that's the harsh reality of life, too. Like, a lot of people who play soccer, they never go pro because they don't have what it takes to go pro. Like, yeah. sometimes they have a change of career path. So, like, uh, and, and another example gave is, like, let's say you want to become an accountant, right? Yeah. And then 
you get like in your math grade or like an accounting class you get like a, a below average so like a d grade technically that's still like a pass but does that yeah. mean you have what it takes to become a, an accountant no it's like you failed so you have to retry again and get a better mark a better grade so you can become an accountant let's say hmm. if you think of it I that see, way I, I see what you're saying I, I, okay, I get what you're saying. Now, when it comes to the main character, right? Who do he remind you of from like a different anime? Okay, so I think his name is Isagi, right? So yeah. Isagi, there's no really other character that comes into mind that I can compare with, like. I haven't watched that many sport anime. The other sport anime I watched other than this Gulak was uh, Hajime no Ippo. That's a uh, fighting spirit. And that was a sport anime based on boxing, right? Yeah. And the main character in that was Ippo Makanuichi. Yeah. And for him, the thing is, he didn't know anything about boxing. He was just a kid who was getting bullied also. And then one time a boxer like saved his life and showed him like, like, yo, if you want to defend yourself, take up some boxing. You're gonna, you're gonna, it's going to change your life. And so he was a newbie, he didn't know shit about boxing. And so once he started like training and joined the boxing gym, he became a, 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 a very good boxer in this uh, league and everything. Whereas Isagi, he's already a uh, striker, a footballer, right? Mm -hmm. It's just that with Isagi, like, he hasn't reached his full potential yet to become the best striker. Whereas, the, uh, whereas Ippo, he was just a kid who was game bullied and don't know anything about boxing until he actually had to start from ground zero, level zero, and work his way up. Okay. For me... Do you have anyone in, my, in mind? Yeah. I have not retaining to sports. I feel like based on his character and how his mind works on breaking down who he is and rebuilding himself to be a better version of himself within every game that he played. To understand the field and to be like, okay, I'm understanding how the field works with my um, foresight of the field and whatnot. Um, understand each player and what their abilities are and figure, trying to figure out how can I use their abilities within my own or use them to help me get to where I need to be, right? Mm -hmm. And to me, personally, off that, it reminds me of like Yagami from um, Death Note on at certain points in his life when people when L was trying to catch him, he's like, Okay, I gotta change it up just a little bit. Oh, and, okay, I know what you mean. And, it's how their mind works. Yeah. They try to like break down to every yeah. little piece yeah. component and try to see where the puzzle fits and everything. Yeah. So yeah. Same. In a way like, in a way I can see that happening, yeah. but Isagi for him, that only works within soccer. If you try to put that in any other aspect in his life, I don't think it works. But for soccer, he becomes very analytical. He becomes very like meticulous and he's yeah. trying to break down to every detail i yeah. see that yeah. same with um um uh, lelouch from um kogias yeah. right because like chess pieces and everything he's in mm -hmm. you can see his like his mind work as like puzzles right and lelouch mind is like chess in a way so um i feel like certain like certain certain parts of his personality resemble like other characters as i was watching i was like man you know, if he do this, it kind of reminds me of Light or Lelouch or probably yeah. like Gone or something. How well, the, as the he, Lelouch, Lelouch kind of took it far, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, or like Gone, like in Hunter x Hunter, as, as, he, as, uh -huh. as he progressed and get older and learn about Nin and everything, he's he's breaking down the, the principle. Like he was learning about the rock, like rock, paper, scissors, right? He had to break it down to figure out, okay, how... Can I make this make sense and fun, mm -hmm. but very, but very powerful for me? And once he understood that, it was like it was game over at that point. Now he knows. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. I feel like the same when it came down to when he was fighting Bardo, King Bardo or whatever, and he was mm -hmm. like, man, he got he's he's super he's tall, he has strong build quality, he's fast, he can kick from twenty nine meters away, right? I thought it was twenty seven, you know, yeah. so. It's coming down to like, man, okay, if I want him on my team, if I got to be better than him, I need to figure out how his mind works. So I need to destroy my way of thinking of soccer and 
intimate. Yeah, reconstruct a new one. Yeah, recon like just the whole process. Yeah, I thought he's always, he's always, he's always adapt. It's that, I think it's the it's the the perception like of how you adapt to the situation. Yeah, and what new uh, techniques and what new concepts you can create, you can think of and create. Yeah. But it's not you just know, him. I, it's like other on, characters yeah. that do it too, and I just I really find that so interesting about the whole anime overall. Oh, uh, they showing how each character minds work and how they want their own way of soccer and everything. But mm -hmm. when it comes down to him, it just makes it it makes it more fun to watch because he's it makes you think about your own life and how how you adapt to different things and how to like man. I'm really trying to pass and said, what do I gotta what do I gotta do differently? You know, I gotta not go yeah. out. I gotta stay yeah. inside. I gotta yep. re reread this book over to understand it. You know, re rewatch this movie to understand it. Put myself in that person's shoes. You know, take their ability, you know. Totally. Yeah, so totally. I really like that aspect of the anime. When it, when yeah. you think about it in real world terms, you know, not just for the entertainment part. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Yeah. I think uh, I just realized we should have probably told our audience what Blue Lock anime is well, like a brief synopsis. Okay. And you mind if I just give them yeah, a quick synopsis since sure. we're already sure. in the middle of it? Like, so Blue <laughs> Lock should. is pretty much about a main protagonist, a, a small time football striker named Isagi. I forgot his last name, though. I mean, oh. his full name, like Isagi is something. Anyways, Isagi is our main character who we follow, who is he? gets handpicked for the Blue Lock program mm -hmm. as a very. Uh, what can I say? It's a very harsh program where by uh, entering it and going through the process of the Blue Lock program, you, they, it's in order to create the ultimate best striker for the team of for the team of Japan for like the World Cup. And for anyone who doesn't pass the Blue Lock program, they are el immediately eliminated and can never play soccer again in the rest of their life. Yeah. Does that make sense? Basically, yeah. that's the whole anime. That's, great. that's the you whole know, anime. That's that's basically what it is, and yeah. it's not. It's very different out of a lot of different sports anime that I've seen. Mm -hmm. So the one I was watching is uh, I ain't finished yet. I'm on the second season. I'm almost done. Called Megalo Boxing, and just him learning. Like one of the one of the protagonists, he had to be like, because the Megalo Boxing in the anime was they use equipment to better enhance their bodies to fight better, right? So this, guy, this is a boxing uh, yeah. anime? Okay, this is a boxing anime. Similar to the one that you mentioned, but a little bit different. This guy already knew about mm -hmm. boxing. But how they use boxing is using gear to help them box better, right? To help their performance. One guy, mm -hmm. he was like, you know what? Forget the gear. I'm not using it no more. I'm going to just fight with the strength that I got and my skills. So I feel like that's similar to how you can see... I'm pronouncing the names wrong, but how his name, how mm -hmm. he does, um, how he plays soccer and everything, because how you break down, he's like, you know what? I don't need gear to be good. So he's looking at like, well, if I need to be the best striker, what do I have to do? I got to devour my teammates, myself, and the, and the people that I'm fighting against on this field. I need to devour everything and reconstruct myself to be better every single time. So like right. in Megalobox, that's how he does it. And one of the characters is like, you know what? If this man can box without no gear, I can do the same thing, right? So he took all his gear off. The gear is surgically connected to your body, right? So is it, so, like, is it like machine parts? No, 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 no. If okay. he have human skin, like bones and everything, but they put a layer of exoskeleton on him and okay. it's like it's like part of your body do like a micro trip like something like in um sort of online right it's like a micro trip in the back of the head down to the spinal cord into the arms and everything right for the right. project that they was pushing in the anime so he was like if you remove it you in a lot of pain because you messing with the nervous system because your body just got so used oh, to yeah. this okay, yeah. so yeah. he was like just megaloboxing does gear make me a good megalo boxer or is I'm a good megalo boxer because I'm a good boxer? Yeah, not because of the gear. skills and techniques. Yeah, so gotcha. when it comes to blue lock, it's like, is I'm a good soccer player because I know I'm a good soccer player or am I just a soccer player trying to be good? You know, okay. I don't know. The, thing, the thing about megalo box, the one you're talking about, is yeah. that it's all about enhancement. So that yeah. could be the same... Or 
argument as saying you're taking steroids to improve your performance. Yeah. You know, Basically. kind of some might consider that cheating, but if if they if like let's say a, 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 a an association kind of legalized that shit, yeah. then I could see people taking on that and using it. But then this guy's like, nah, this isn't the true way of boxing. It should yeah. be on my own like uh, skills yeah. and merits and just be able to box. That's without, how without the, the help of the Yeah. Like, what is my way of soccer? And that's how each character trying to figure that out for yeah. for themselves. What is my way? Of playing soccer is it to be sneaky and cheat and try to use other people or see what is my what is my good skills as mm. the, as the story goes on in the anime you see that he's learning from his teammates and other the other team and himself and breaking it down and be like okay i got a direct shot so if i'm these many these many meters away it's going in every time without a doubt or my adaptability of Okay, I saw this guy able to get behind. Uh, one of the characters is like, you're not using your eyes correctly, right? You you have right. this ability to see the field, but you can't see, but you're not visualizing everybody else. You just see the field, but not mm -hmm. the people in front of you. And once you realize how your eyes work, then it'll be better. And once he figured that out, he's like, how do you get behind me every time? Yeah, he figured that out. I see what out. you're saying. Well, let's try to break down what Blue Lock program is. So basically, the Blue Lock program, it really breaks down the fundamentals of soccer. So yes. It does touch up on like dribbling, passing, scoring, and many other techniques. But the thing, what Ego tries to do is like, he tries to break it down into, you know how there's like phases in the, yeah. in the, in the Blue Lock program stages? But each stage is to like, it's to like, it's about a point of something. So, like the fir the first stage, I guess, was to form is to is to like see how you become together as a team and to figure out what is your special weapon, right? Everyone yeah. had a special weapon. What Shig for Chigori, it was speed. He was just run fast down the line, down yeah. the road. Uh, for uh, Nagi, it was um, what's it called? His football, his ball control, right? Like yeah. how he would control the ball. For Bachera, it was dribbling. He could like literally yeah. dribble past anyone. And for Isagi, for him, it was the of spatial awareness that they called yeah. it right that was this thing like he could figure out the feel and he could kind of guess where the next player would be and where and where the yeah. pass or ball would be anticipation and everything so that was the first stage so that was to figure out your special uh weapon so for isagi it was this spatial awareness with a direct shot that was a weapon yeah. and then the next stage you figure out how to do a chemical reaction so now that you figure out your space your your your, your weapon turn it zero you need into to one. you need to figure out sorry what remember he was he was saying how can you turn zero into one and then yeah. one into a hundred you know? exactly so for that then you have to do you have to move on to the next part which is how to do a chemical reaction with a player so now that you figure out what your weapon is and what each other player's uh, weapon is mm -hmm. how they use that to advantage how do you create a reaction where you can easily score a goal so that was also interesting too so for example for uh, Bachira and Isagi, usually Bachira would just dribble past everyone, and then as soon as Isagi is in a good position with a with a spatial awareness, you, Is Bachira would just pass to Isagi, and Isagi would shoot. Right? That's like a chemical reaction. But Baro was interesting because Baro is such a cocky, arrogant footballer striker, right? Yeah. So for so for Isagi, like he was not able to get through with Baro. So I was like, man, what do I do with Baro? Like I can't, I don't, I don't know what to do. And then he's like, yo, Baro's trying to devour me. Let me devour him. I have to go against him. I have to pretend he's my enemy yeah. and that he's the villain so that I can become a better striker. And with that, that chemical reaction worked. Yeah. Because Baro would never be like the person to fight. He's like, no, nah, you guys are donkeys to me. I'm the king and everything yeah. you would say on the on the field. So, uh, so for Isaka, it's like, nah, you're not king, man. You're you're my donkey now. So give yeah, me the ball. Man, I saw it. I, when I saw that, it was beautiful. I was like, oh my yeah. lord. It surprised Baro so much. It's like, oh, I see, man. Uh, so because of them devouring each other, they would just up. They would try to up one each other mm -hmm. to 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 make the to make, to make to become a better striker and make a, a field goal. Yeah. And then the next stage, I'm not sure if we caught up, but now uh, Ego was talking about luck. Which is like the next, uh, uh, the next uh, thing about blue luck is like luck is not really an occurrence. It's more about like cloud of probabilities and possibilities. No, I don't think I got that. I think I got far as when he uh, was okay. trying to figure out. Everybody was like, "Oh, you can't, you can't make this shot again." It was based on. I think I think I did caught up because it was like something about like Noah Noah is able to recreate all of them shots over and over and over again mm -hmm. without without hesitating. You mm -hmm. made a great shot, but you don't. You can't figure out 
how can you make it again? Mm. Make it with anybody or just make it by yourself. How can you make this shot 100 times over within any play that you're in? And once you figured out that, then you you getting you made it to the next level of being able being being have a bigger ego. But until you figure out that, you're not gonna become the best striker. Mm, okay, so it's, it's all about reproducibility. Can yeah. you reproduce the same results again and again? Yeah, ego yeah. did emphasize on that for sure. Yeah. I have a question for you. Yeah. So aside from our main protagonist uh, Isagi, who yeah. do you think has a good chance of clearing the blue lock program and becoming the best striker? You know, it, a lot. Of, I feel like for people who are watching, you want me to say the the brother. Aside from our main protagonist, of course, the brother that's in the, the anime, because his brother is a professional soccer player, and he's like, he want to be better than his brother. Right? I forgot his name. Um, Do you mean uh, Itoshi Ren? Yeah, Ren. Right. People, people think he will be the next one, right? Which he might be if he was the main protagonist, but mm. I feel that. It would be probably Bardo, King Bardo, Bardo, because based on his work ethic and how he, once he, once he figured out I can pass to someone, he will be better. Because like, but yes, it's like that's the issue. That's the issue. That is because the issue of for arrogance. Him. And his cockiness. That's, that's what they want. He would want. never do that. That's what but they I want. But I can see, I can see but potential once in he, him passing. Once yeah. he got, once he figure out like that, that yeah. that that vulnerability of like, okay, who, let me pass this ball. Mm. Just don't mess it up, because now you're making me never want to pass it. But if you can pass it and shoot, great. But if you can pass it, but put me in a better position to get to the goal and pass it back, we're gonna win every time. Because he, because yeah. he's he already got the height, he got the strength, he got the, the speed, right? Yeah. He can he can kick, from twenty nine meters far. away. Yeah, he can kick from right? far for sure. Yeah. So, once he figure out how to pass, and I guess, cause he he take charge, he go right between. He don't care. He's yeah. going straight. He gonna he's like a he like a moving train. He's not gonna stop. Well, here's the you thing. Know? Here's the thing I'll say. Like, borrow. Uh, for sure, Barrow would be a good candidate for the Blue Lock program. Like he would be probably the good uh, a good pick for yeah. You would think that he would pass the Blue yeah. program aside from the main protagonist. But the thing is, I don't see Barrow as a leader because if you if he was leading his team and the team would come to him for a plan, his response would be like, "There's no plan. You just pass to me and I'll score." And they're like, "Well, okay, we can't really rely on you. You should rely on us." And the thing is, because of this of his cockiness, arrogance, he will not put the trust in the team. He'll be like, no, nah, you need to pass to me, and that's it. So there was a there there, there are some moments in the anime where that kind of did change, where him yeah. and Isagi are having like a one-on-one, -on -one and they're like talking on well, how, how to like adapt and improve to improve or Nagi, soccer. Or Nagi. But I feel so like... So Baro's starting to kind of change. Yeah. But ultimately, I don't know if he's the he's, if he's the right candidate that will clear the Blue Lock program. I would still put my I would still put my bet on Itoshi Ren. Because him, he actually does rely on his teammates more than uh, Baro does. He rely and, on them to get them to get him where he want to be. So he's similar yeah, yeah, to Baro, it. but just Baro just stubborn, right? If we if we going off based on who have the most growth, um, I would say oh, yeah. Baro definitely has um, more potential Nagi. growth for sure. Yeah, Nagi, if Nagi. Like he's taking it serious the now. Is, for Ren, he's he's way leagues beyond Baro too because, for I mean, here's the thing. At one point, for uh, for Ren, Baro was kind of like an anomaly, so he couldn't read him correctly. But give it time, Ren would be able to read Baro, and then he'd be able to devour Baro also easily, because his his skill set and his soccer are kind of way be a bit beyond, uh, for Baro, and so for Ren, him it's more like they're they're both like Baro definitely has the eagle. But for Ren, it's more about the the, the cunningness, you know, the smartness. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna easily beat you easily. So I think for me, Ren would be a better candidate for the Blue Lock program. But the thing is, there's something wrong with Ren because like his way of soccer isn't the ideal soccer that what Isagi kind of thinks. I think but, he don't know what the soccer that he wanted to play is, you know, because based on the whole the whole thing when it comes to any anime or just real life. It's like you're always in the shadow of 
your sibling or whatever. And it's like they always compare it like, oh, you're great, but you're not better than your better than your older brother. You know, you know, you go to school and they'd be like, oh, I had your sister in my class. She did so wonderful. I know you're going to do the same thing. No, I'm dumber than my sister. Don't. Why are you comparing to me? Are we not the same person? You know, mm-hmm. so it, I feel like to him is his way of soccer is just I just want to beat my brother and show everybody yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm but that's, that's I think that's enough motivation for him to give him a drive to like become a, a good better striker because yeah, again, but we don't we don't until, know what the relationship of between the brothers are because they didn't go that much yeah. into it, but we can tell there's a bit of tension between them, and so I think yeah for for Ren to look up to his brother, he's like yeah your your way of soccer it's not not the way I want to play. I want to play my own style and stuff. Yeah. I feel like yeah. once I feel like the only way he would get to that point is when he actually face his brother and then beat him and be like finally now I can have fun. In a mm. way, a little bit Maybe. more fun than he had before. Right? Cuz his Maybe. mind is just like I'm just going to beat him. Once I beat him, then I, think- I can just relax. Yeah, now well, I think, everybody I think when knows. he was playing with Isagi, though, know, like he was getting frustrated, but maybe he was starting to feel like, like true, like soccer. Like he was like, "Oh man, I'm my back is against the wall. Like this guy actually is giving me a hard time." Yeah. So maybe he was starting to enjoy himself a bit more. That's why I don't want to spoil too much. I don't know how far you are, but Rin does choose Isagi to join his team because he saw the potential in Isagi. So that's why he's like, "Yeah, I need you on my team." Now I get that for the next stage. <laughs> Get sorry, far. I get that far. I, yeah, I don't know who I ain't know who's gonna win. Damn I got up, man. Damn it! So, like, but, it but it was a, it was an intense battle. Of, uh, it was an intense match. Man, that, Lord, sure. I had like two more episodes before I saw that. You terrible, yeah. terrible man, <laughs> terrible, sorry, man. terrible. Lord I'm Jesus. sorry. Get him in the but, chat, people. The most get him in the chat. Yeah, no, but I haven't watched the most recent one because yeah. again, not too much spoilers. There's some uh, they 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 the the lock program recruits some like FIFA people to play against the next team so yeah like I don't, I don't know what happens but I won't give that much far ahead but all right yeah so oh, also, also a minor spoiler yeah not 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 too important but apparently Ren can understand English he he can speak English to uh to the FIFA players but the way they were speaking English in that one episode <laughs> it was hilarious it's like Japanese people try to speak English and they have such like accents and you're like oh, okay. you, you understand what they're saying but yeah. you're like Oh my god. <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. Yeah, you'll right. see, you'll see later on. So pretty much you choose Baro to clear the blue lock program and I choose Ren to clear the blue lock program. We're yeah. gonna find out in the show yeah. how each player gets far ahead. Like yeah. you never know, maybe Baro might go out before Ren or Ren might go up before The Baro only reason why I didn't pick Nagi is because he's like even though he he don't know enough he don't know a lot about Saga, he's just like he's just good at it. I he feel just like with, without that. having that yeah. that knowledge and that 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 understanding of what soccer truly is and how it works and what all yeah. the regulations behind it i feel like that's why he won't go as far but i feel like even if he lost or something i think he'll still play because he he's too he's too good to not know what what the what in the world he's doing you know that's like that's like you go into a like job for, for not that, for Nagato, he's, he's he's a bit more childish too like yeah like like someone needs to give him like the motivation to play. Like you know, yeah. most of the time, if you notice, he's always like playing video games. Yeah. And then like he relies too much on other people to give him a helping hand. I noticed like the one instance where like whenever he, he like sometimes like I think what was it in the episode they were like Isaga would always tell him, oh Nagi, let's go go get breakfast. But for Nagi, he's so out of touch because like he's not aware of time. He's not aware of time and everything. He's like, man, I really need breakfast. Then he's like, "Why am I not eating breakfast?" Oh yeah, because Isagi always took me to breakfast and stuff. Like Nagi, there's there's a bit of like child childish in him. So if he was able to mature, then yeah, I think his soccer would definitely improve also. But right mm-hmm. now, he's a well balanced player. I'll say that he's a good yeah. support. He's a great, he's great overall. Yeah. One of my favorite characters. I like, I like. All right, one more question before I ask you the big question. All right. My question is, even though we like the art style and like the little animation they do do you think it would be better or kind of off if they did a similar art style ish to um demon slayer when it came down to their moves or you ever seen uh, Kono basket when they when they 
playing basketball and you see lightning and stuff like that, do you yeah. think it would put an extra mm on it and make you want to really watch it? Or would it be like, it's just like a copy of like... So are, are, you, are you asking me if the it, art of Demon Slayer was adapted to Blue Lock or is it the other way around where Blue Lock's art should be adapted to Demon Slayer? The first one, but not like exactly how... Just uh, like, okay. just so like, based on color, right? Because you know how, um, like he was like the main character, like um, using water style or whatever. You see blue, right? Mm -hmm. One of the 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 main character, you can see, he his like eyes was like blue at first, but now it's like going to like this greenish color or whatever. So mm -hmm. it's like, what if like when he kicks, is like flowing water in a way. Right, and it goes in, you know, similar to how he do different breathing styles in, in Demon Slayer, you know, like, like it's like when he kicks, it's like a dragon, you know, mm -hmm. type of like you see the animation, like, oh, this is gonna be one powerful kick, or like the guy that got the mid range shot with the orange hair, like he kicked, and it's like a it's like a like a like a lightning bolt or like mm -hmm. a big lion or something, you know, going straight into the goal. Like just the just the emphasis on this is gonna be one powerful shot type deal. So uh, to be honest, uh, <laughs> I have not watched Demon Slayer, <laughs> but no, I have no, seen no. some clips. See, the art style for Demon Slayer <laughs> is unique. I don't yeah. know if it will be a good adaptation to adapt that art style to Blue Lock. I really don't know because for Demon Slayer, I don't know. I feel like the art style what Blue Lock is already doing is good enough. If he were to add so much more extravagant, flashy stuff to it, it might just, it might be too much for the show, I find. I don't know. Uh, okay. You, I, get, I don't know. I disagree. I feel like disagree, it yeah. would, I feel like it would be pretty cool just to see like, not like animal, like animal based figures. Cause you know, like one of the guy good at dribbling, right? You see his demon, right? Right. We, he, we, the. So, so far, I only see his demon. I don't see nobody mm -hmm. else's mm -hmm. monster, right? I want to see that, but in, like, different forms. Like, you ever seen Harry Potter? They got different Patronuses, and you see, like, what mm -hmm. that Patronus is based on that person, personality-wise, and stuff like that. What do we see, you know? Like, the guy is very good, like, like the, the good one that's good at running, right? Very fast. Yeah. Yeah. What if he, his is, like, a rabbit or something, or... Or like a cheetah. So do you do you want to see yeah. like their inner like spirit kind of yeah. come out? Is that yeah? Okay. As they plan, because you know when I, I don't mind that. That's but what I the want. The thing is, here's the thing. I don't mind if they do that, but the thing is like that's a unique concept for Butcher itself because you don't see that. Because the thing is, he got bullied his life too. So right, so he didn't have a friend until he created his own demon where he could play around with his, where he could play with his demon and yeah. work on his dribbling and everything. So that was unique to Butcher. If you do that for everyone else, then Butcher doesn't become unique. You know, but not, everyone had their unique. I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But I'm not saying they got to be like another demon is form, but like something that makes you think like, well, no, when you see um, Nagi, you see that little scar right on him. I want something yeah, like that. Like yeah. if he about to kick, oh, this a death kick. Like mm -hmm. if you in, if you in range, you are gonna be knocked out. Like you just knocked out. You they, I mean, they, you they do do that in Blue Lock if you think about it. Uh, uh, just a little for, bit, but not. Bar yeah, for Barrow, because for yeah. for Baro, like I don't know how far he got. There was a moment where they portrayed him as like the lion. He's like yeah, a lion waiting for his prey to like to devour his prey. Yeah. So they do that kind of like some symbolism, some comparison like that. That's what but, I'm saying. Uh, I want I want more of that. More maybe. More of that? Okay. I want more. I feel like it'll just bring so much, a um, little bit of flavor to the to the show. Even though it's already great as it is, I don't know. I just like to see their inner, um, their inner spirit show a little bit. It don't got to be direct like how Bacha does is with the dribbling, but just something be like, man, he about to kick this ball, and if you in the way, <laughs> you better be knocked out like you not mm -hmm. like he trying to like they trying to hold it but it's like say some one of them trying to like like the um they got the virtual goalie right he tried to catch it but in a put him in right and, like he let mm -hmm. go like he tried to hold it but it was like nah it still mm -hmm. went through and hit the net you know what i'm saying like okay. he wasn't gonna be able to catch that okay 
That's so what I want to like, see. So it's kind of like a, like a final, like let's say a final finisher to yeah. give it a little, a little more oomph, a little yeah. more like uh, That's what animation I style to it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that. I would mind that. Cool. Now, the big question, people, are you ready for this? Do you think they should intimate Blue Lock into the real world? Not just for soccer, but for anything, for any subject, for any sport. Do you think this will be effective? If so, comment down below. Do you agree or disagree? And I want to know why. All right, Lee. Do you agree that they should do this or disagree? So you're asking if the real world should adopt a blue lock program to determine the best striker, at least for soccer in this yes. situation. Yes. All right. So I'm going to say no. I'm against that because the thing is... Soccer is not all. It's not all about just finding the best striker. You need to have a well-rounded team. So it's not just for striker. You need, you need to you need to have uh, a footballer who's a great midfield support, a great footballer who's a great defender, and a good footballer who's a good goalie and can defend. The blue lock program. The thing, the disadvantage for blue lock program is that once you get in, and if you're not, if and if you get disqualified, you're completely out, and you can never play soccer again. So statistically and systematically, that does not work in the real world because then there wouldn't be enough candidates to enter into like soccer leagues and everything. Mm -hmm. So that why that's why I think the blue lock program cannot be implemented in the real world. Are you for it? I'm for it, and I say this because if you ain't good enough, get out the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because if you gotta be egoist, you gotta have the biggest ego. You gotta be like. You got to be number one. You got to be better than everybody on your team. You got to play every role and and be the best, right? Now, I would say this. Being, not playing soccer ever again, that's crazy, right? That's why. Ah, that's, but, that. that's what I'm saying, yeah. But I feel like it should come down to not only finding the best striker, but it's, it's, different, it's different positions on the court, right? So, yeah. Okay. So you want to implement the, you want to implement the blue lock for let's say the best striker position. for the best defender for the best yeah. goalie. Is that where we're going? Yeah. So then Again, that, that, that way that wouldn't work. Go ahead. Well, yeah, go on. Go on. Your mix. I point. feel like if they did that right, you could still have a good team overall because now you have someone that understand because they all going to go do similar training, but for different attributes of that particular mm -hmm. part of that of the field that they of they covering, you know? So when it comes down to playing, because, you know, in the show they have, like, you keep, you upgrade. So every time you play a match, you get to take somebody, right? You get to take this person, you get to take this person, you get to take this person, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe once they do that whole process, right, they go in, like, a bigger stadium that's connected, and then they play, right? And then they get to pick different people, from a different position, and then they make their own best team, going against the next team to see who will win. You know what I'm but saying? But there's, there's an issue for this because, like, um, the the so you're saying you use the blue lock program to find different like uh, positions for in soccer, right? But the yeah. thing is, if these uh, guys never actually were put together a team, we don't know how the communication would be in a real life match. So let's say you were the best. Let's say you were put into the uh, it's called the goalie position for, in the blue lock program. And now it's put into the best striker position in the blue lock program. But the thing is, we're doing we're doing the same program, but we never played together in a team. So how mm -hmm. would we know? How would we know if our weapons and chemical reaction would be good enough to like be in the like a, a soccer league? You know what I'm saying? And systematically, it doesn't work because, like you said, for every hundred people who are applying for the blue lock program, only one comes out. Then yeah. the ninety nine are like rejected and can never play soccer again. You see what I'm saying? Hey. Then it's like then it's like you're really diminishing down your potential candidates, and then you're really restrict yourself on those twelve people that are like uh, submitted to blue lock and pass, right? Yeah. And let's say out of those twelve years down the line, some of them might get injured and injured. Some of them might get retired. And what do you do? Then you have to restart another blue lock program. But the thing is, you've already eliminated <laughs> quite a bit of candidates. That we're trying to go to the blue lock. Hey. Here's the thing I never. Here's the thing they never said though. If you get rejected for the blue lock program, can you reapply again? We don't know that, right? So know. let's assume. Let's assume they cannot reply again. So that makes it even harder mm -hmm. for you to find potential candidates in like whatever uh, uh, sport game you're trying to look for. You see what I'm saying? Statistically, it doesn't work though. That's what I'm saying. Like 
the consequence is so is so grave that mm -hmm. yes, you will find the best at whatever position, but at what okay. cause? Then you have to stick with those, and hopefully they can play as long as as long as they can. But as soon as one gets injured or retires or anything, then you have to restart again the blow up program and try to find more recruits. But you've already limited quite a bit because we don't know if they can reapply. But remember, it wasn't that many candidates within the anime in the first place. They lied. Ego lied to everybody on how many people it how really was. How many was it in total? Do you he remember? said it was over 300. And it was really been 300 people in the in the, the whole game. It was less than that. It was how much late. was it then? It was what less was the than real that. number? Oh, I can look it up. But it was, wasn't was even around 300 some people. It was less. So uh, do we so, assume 100 then at, at least? Maybe. No. Okay. But you see 100. 100 people have, have, are in the blue up program. There's a lot of people in the world. Only one can come out. There's a lot of people though. So that's a, lot, it's a yeah. lot of people, but then those people can never play a soccer again. They cannot reapply for the blue lock program. Literally, like that, uh, like this might be a short term benefit for 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 Japan to find like the best striker in the in the Japan's league and everything for the FIFA Cup. But in the long run, it is not good. It is not good, right? Because then you have to wait for the you're gonna have to wait for the next generation to be of age. Oh, I guess so. And apply for the blue lock program. All right, so it was saying that, I don't know, because he's, I don't know, it's different than what it said in the anime. It said with 300 participants, and it was divided up into 25 groups of 12 people, and every 12 people are headed in large rooms. The last person who hit the ball. That's, okay, that's just not enough. Not only that, this blue lock program is kind of time consuming. Do we know how long it takes for it to pull? I think it was six program? months. Six months? I think it was. I think it was a a six month program. Six months, right? And I then you so. have to you have to put a lot of money and resources into it too, right? You have to build like a whole complex stadium and everything. Like if you remember in the anime, a lot of the public crowd was against it. Like, yo, you crazy? Like they were telling Eagle, yo, you crazy, man. This will never work. And he's like, well, you gotta be a bit crazy for 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 it to work. You know, like I'm trying to find the best striker because they're for them. Like for them, they're saying like Japan. It's not even considered one of the top world tier in yeah. soccer and everything, right? So I get that point, but mm -hmm. the consequence that he submitted where you can never play soccer again, that's really harsh because then you you kind of uh, eliminate quite a bit of potential candidates and, and you kind of demoralize well, maybe, them to, maybe, to never play again. But is is that the truth? Because he he was he lied about a few things, right? Well, we he don't know. The truth. Right now we're so, arguing within the context yeah, we have, right? Yeah. Into but, the real world. In, in the that's real why, world, that's why I asked you, like, make do you think we can reapply for a blue lock program again? Like, he said you can never play again, soccer. So I'm assuming you cannot reapply for the blue lock program, right? So that's it. Like, I but don't that know, wasn't man. very, he wasn't very clear on it. Is it like, yeah. you can never play soccer officially again? Like, no, I think you said you can never play soccer again. So even, like, mini leagues or, like, you know, just, like, like, you, you could probably play with your friends, like, just outside in the field like that, but you can never play, like, professionally in any kind of way. I think you but how does, how far does that go for each person? You know, people disobey rules all the time. Is it like, you see me, you, you see me playing soccer, chop off my legs type deal? Like, you know, like, how, how he get, like, how he know these people ain't playing soccer? You know, when they get let in the mail, like, like, like they suck, because they all sign contracts, you know? Right, and they're right. like, Oh, you breach this contract, you get a fine of a million dollars. You know, some some wild. I think what happens is that once you get eliminated from the blue lock program, they have your your profile and everything. They probably submit it to every other like league, or, like oh, they okay. just give out like a memo or like every other league in Japan saying like, okay, this guy can never play soccer professionally again. In Japan. Okay, so I see what you're saying. So yeah. if you were to move somewhere else from yeah. Japan then you could play. But the thing is, if every country in the world was to was to implement the Blue Lock program, mm -hmm. yo, it'd be but done no, soccer. But, there wouldn't but, be that many players in soccer. But, but if you already went through the program the first time in Japan, but you're like, you know what, I'm going to go through it again in America, you know, in Texas but or something. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Or, what if or, the Blue Locks are kind of communicating with each other and they're like, okay, so because you got eliminated in the Blue Lock program in Japan, you cannot reapply in any other country in the world. Like, you're done with soccer. You, officially you right i see what you're saying i see what you're yeah i see like but we don't know such, we don't know that a it's a lot of gray like, area it worth it's it to take that risk area. it's a lot of gray area that he didn't mention fully yeah in anime because for all we know this all happened in japan this is the first of this ever happening so mm -hmm. 
until we get more information, then we'll we'll truly know. Yeah. But just all based off contest, yes, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But I still, I still, I'm still. If you ain't good enough, you shouldn't be playing. I get that, man. And then the consequence too much, man. But yeah. let, let's see what the audience think. We'll let yeah, them comment think, down people? below to see. It was a good debate. I'm like, I see what you're saying, <laughs> but ah, uh, man, I don't know. <laughs> but all right, people of the world, let us know. Like, subscribe, go follow. Um, the Otaku Crew on their page. All links will be down below. Check out our last video. We had Leifan on there. It was great. A lot of stuff we was talking about. It was a lot of dope conversation. We got more to come. Comment down your favorite anime. Comment down what you think of Blue Lock. What do you think? Are you agree or disagree on if they should do it or they shouldn't do it? Who, what characters remind you of other anime within Blue Lock? Let us know. Peace out. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me, Neil. Yeah, no problem. Peace.